All right. Okay, yeah. Nasir is another person that can damage Ashnard. Or Ina, as well, I believe, can also damage him, since you have to take either one of them into the fight. They can also damage him. So you'll have at least two plus a third one, which we'll see when we actually get into the fight. For this fight, let's see. I think we got who we need. Yes? Yeah, I think that's it, actually. Just take out Alencia. We don't need any of these people down here. Uh, you could take Grayson, I guess, but that's a little bit bold of a decision to do. I kind of want to have her out just to show a few conversations, because I believe... Oh, no, there's no conversation. Alright. I was going to say, they might show off conversation with the enemy. There's nobody to recruit here, and if there was, you know, <laughs> you get them for this level, that's it, so... Um... Yeah, I think... I think that'll do it. Um, you know what, for old time's sake, we'll put Alencia on the battlefield. I'm not gonna have her fight or anything like that, but just to, like, have her actually be there from more so a story standpoint than anything. Looking at the map, the clear condition is defeat boss. Now this is important, because I didn't realize this first time I played the game. If you're playing this game on hard, Ashnard moves. I didn't know that. I'm not playing this on hard, but I did not know that. And so I had somebody standing around here, I believe it was Soren, and all of a sudden he just flew down and killed it. I'm like, oh, that's a thing. So if you're playing this on hard mode, Ashgard can move. He probably will. And I believe even after a certain amount of turns, if nobody's gotten within his range, he'll move anyway. So watch out for that. If you're playing on easy or normal, not that big a deal, but... Still gotta watch out for that. There are dragons, like I mentioned, one, two, three. Just kind of in that little triangle pattern. Aside from that, you're gonna see a lot of high-level units, as you can expect. There's kind of a lot of different types here. Uh, not anything too bad. This guy's got Rexor. Okay, so there is a Rexor in this game. A couple of mages with sleep. I don't believe there's any range. Oh, there is range. Meteor. Is there another dude over here that's got one? No, there's not. So, just kind of stuff all around the board. Not incredibly difficult, as long as you don't accidentally isolate yourself. Watch out for these guys right here on each side, because they will have heal stabs. Tornado, you. Tornado, that one. Watch out for your healers, primarily, that are trying to help their allies. Just be careful. Uh, don't keep anybody isolated. I typically send one team up this way, another team up that way, and then Ike up the center with Nasir. So, that is typically how that's going to work. Bryce, we'll go ahead and talk about him now. Uh, Ashnard, I'll talk about later, but uh, well, no, we're gonna we'll do that during the fight. Actually, that that seems more fitting to do during the fight. So, okay, Let's reposition our units. Got to think about this pretty carefully. Kind of want to have a good balance just all around. So, have a healer on each side. Dragon Master on each side. Have a Swordsman on each side. Twelve. Have an Archer on each side. Leith and Sword can counterbalance each other. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then Nasir will go up the middle. Yeah, this looks good. So that's what I'm going to end up going with. So yeah, Nephany, Har, Soren, Zahark, and Astrid will go up the right-hand side. Rolf, Mia, Leith, Jill, and Oscar will go up the left-hand side. I can just go up the middle. Uh, Alencia is probably going to stay back here with me. Mist will go off to the uh, to the left with these guys as well because she's our healer for that side of the map. So that looks like a good option. Hope I can get this in one take because I really don't want to have to play this one again. But let's go ahead get started here. Time for the final battle. Are you nervous? Yes, and you, my Lord Ike? No, I'm actually pretty calm in a strange way. Now that we're finally here, I can focus on defeating King Day and nothing else seems to matter. I wonder if we shall win. We will win. I didn't come this far to lose. You've come all this way as well, so believe in yourself. You're right. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. 
I'm gonna have Ike stand right here, and a Seer will be right behind. He doesn't transform immediately, so you'll have to make sure he's not, uh, you know, in any actual danger. Keep a Linseer right here. Going up the left and right sides, on both sides. If I had to clarify this in one word, how you would do this? Methodical. Move up a little bit each time, but don't get out of line. You want people to be standing like a wall on this, because if not, you're going to be put in a very bad spot very fast. You will take damage very fast. You do not want that to happen. So make absolutely sure people can form a wall just like this one. So, units that can't move quite as far as others, make sure you do not leave them behind. Every unit that you have here is going to matter. If it seems like we've got too many, no, it will matter. Not going to use that because nobody's been taking damage yet. Also, keep a pretty close eye on how far the enemy units can move. Because you want to try to make sure that you are the one that gets to initiate the combat, not them. Brave Axe is fine. So above all else, this is a map that, if nothing else, you should play very, very carefully. If you have to retreat a few steps, retreat a few steps. If you have to stand still, then stand still. But do not press forward with enemies behind you. It will not end well. See, that was just a sage, of all things. And yes, Bryce will actually come and attack you. We'll talk more about him in a minute here. I don't like these odds. I think it's likely we may take a lot of casualties. What do you think of pulling in one of the other commanders to lend us a hand? Alright, so, at the start of your second turn, and yes, this will happen. It's not like we actually took damage, really. Like, Jill got hit, and that was about it, but she didn't die. You'll get the option to call in one of three people here. You can call in either Tabar, Naisala, or Jifsa. Either one. Now, obviously I can't show all their stats because I can't call in all three. And I'm not going to show the actual scene of calling in all three. So I've got their stats pulled up here, and you can judge for yourself what you kind of want to do. So, start with the Bard. His HP is 63. Keep in mind, all three of these have the Laguz bands. So they will be transformed the entire time. Strength is 37. Magic is 12. Skill is 36. Speed is 27. Luck is 24. Defense is 29. Resistance is 20, uh, and none of these other stats really matter that much because it's all about weight and what have you. Naysala! That's not Naysala, sir. That is not even close. Naysala stats. HP 57, Strength 31, Magic 17, Skill 30, Speed 34, Luck 19, Defense 24, Resistance 19, and lastly, Jifsa is... HP 68, Strength 40, Magic 10, Skill 32, Speed 29, Luck 22. I can avoid getting the hiccups. Defense 30 and Resistance 19. So what you're looking at is here. Na uh, well, yeah, we'll start with Nacella. Nacella is going to be the weakest of the three in actual attack strength. However, he will have the highest speed, so he'll be able to dodge better than the other two will. Gypsa will have lower speed, so he might not be able to dodge as well as the other ones, but he's going to have the highest strength. Tabarn is kind of your middle-of-the-road choice. Since we've already seen Nesala and Tabarn in combat, we haven't seen Jifsa, I'm going to end up choosing him for this, actually. And of course, you can always choose not to call somebody if you don't want to, but like why you wouldn't, I don't know. They will show up at the start of the next turn, if I remember correctly. So, that is on that. I can close those bios out, and my computer will probably thank me quite a bit for doing so. Oh... Uh... I'm going to talk about Bryce right now. He's probably going to attack us next turn, so yeah. Bryce, a level 20 general, maxed out on his, uh, maxed out on his levels. Uh, as you can probably already tell, this guy is extremely loyal, loyal to Dayan and King Ashnard's predecessors. Even after he revealed that he killed the previous king, he's still loyal. A um, couple other things. Uh, this won't be shown on screen because I'm not using him. Uh... On many occasions, he's confused and insulted by the lack of care that Ashnard has 
Um, and this can be seen whenever Torneo fights him, during which he tells Torneo he's fully aware of what Ashnard is doing and that it is wrong, but believes there's nothing he can do to stop the king. In fact, the conversation, as it is, right here, will say this. Ah, Torneo, I see you found another path to follow. Perhaps you were inspired by my old friend Gawain. Torneo will say, Tell me, Bryce, beyond mountains of corpses, what do you see Ashnard bringing to the future of this place? I see nothing, save for a land of absolute darkness and terror. Then why fight by his side? Some men can change, Torneo. Others cannot. I'm of the latter type. There's no other reason. Uh, he has a conversation with Ike as well, but Ike will be fighting him, so... Nothing to note there. He has the Wishblade. This is an s rank lance, and it is the strongest one you're going to find other than a forged one. Uh, apparently, it's also forged by Master Craftsman. It's a very good uh, lance. It is ranged, but Ike will have Ragnall, so not the big deal. He'll drop the Speedwing, and whenever he is defeated, you will have to defeat him in combat. He comes with Guard and Daunt. And overall, his stats are pretty good. They're, they can't really match Ike. As a general, he's got pretty low speed, but across the board, still pretty good stats. So, uh... He is better than the other knights that will show up, but he can still be defeated pretty easily if you're using Ike against him, so wouldn't really worry about him too much, surprisingly. Advertisements, I don't want you! Go away! No one likes you. Have no friends. Alright, now that's been taken care of, I can close that out. And we can continue on. Um, can the double bow get this guy out of curiosity? Yes, I can. Alright. Well, if I don't have to deal with his bullet gun, then I'm not going to. Very good. Oops. Big Cotty, 14 times 2. Brave Sword, 11 times 4. Sonic Sword's probably... Yep, garbage is expected. Alright. Brave Sword it is! That's the joy of the Brave Sword, plus Adapt also helped. Sorry, enough. off. At the same time, though, he's probably not going to hit, so... Might as well clock that damage in now. See these tiger leaders are actually pretty fast. Uh, he's just gonna heal that guy is the problem. So what I'm actually gonna do is get rid of this guy. Which you can probably already expect me doing that. Move back a space. We're just gonna put a wall right here so these guys can't really go get in the way of anything too badly. I'm gonna use fortify. Very good. It doesn't actually show their HP being healed, but yeah, it, it is. So, in case you were curious. Okay, those three will do nothing. On this side. What the rune sword do out of curiosity? That's actually not bad, considering I'm not gonna do it, but that's actually pretty good for power, all things considered. With a magic stat of six, I mean, that's not bad. Daphne's probably the best choice here. Yeah, she is. Where are we going here? Alright, that's you gone. Yeah, as expected. Just basically fight units that you know will, uh, fight with units that you know will take minimal damage or no damage at all. That's why I went with Soren right there. Alright, very good. Rune Sword, I'm actually going to hold on to that for Zaharik. He probably will not get kills, however, if he takes damage, he'll be able to get that health back. That's why I'm keeping it on him right now. 
That'll do it. Alright, enemy's turn. Let's see what they're gonna do. So you're the enemy general, eh? You're much younger than I'd imagine. My age matters not. This place will be or this palace will be ours this day. We will not relinquish it so easily. But allow me to introduce myself as befits a war. I am Bryce of Dane. And I'm Ike of the Grum Mercenaries. Now let us begin. Oh wow, he dodged it. <laughs> okay, Bryce, apparently I underestimated you a little bit. Oh no. Adept would have been really nice right there. Oh good, he dodged it. Adept could have left him open to somebody else. I figured making the wall was kind of pointless there, because I knew they had good movement, but, you know, I was hopeful. Dang! You kicked the snot out of him before he could even do anything. It's actually good that she did not kill him, though, because then she, that guy would have been able to come up and attack as well. But see what I mean? Like, these guys are doing a lot more damage than we've been seeing even in a couple chapters ago. Soul coming in handy once again. Look at that! Three times out of four! That's great! I mean, he didn't need it after the second one, but still. Yeah, those dragons are coming, and I'm getting ready for them. Some Aether would be nice here. Yeah, very good. I say skill is an important asset to have for units. I love it whenever you can get your health back without healing or anything like that. It's always really good to have stuff like that. Stuff that'll make kills possible where they weren't possible. Skill's probably one of my favorite things to have in a game, is skill and speed for Fire Emblem games. Yeah, I see that dragon coming. I'm not worried about that one in the center. Hey dude, what's up? I've answered your call. Sedan's elite soldiers are giving you some trouble, are you? Not yet, but they probably will soon. Alright, let's go ahead and finish off Bryce here if we can. Should be able to if both of these attacks hit. Or if either activates. Alright, there we go, he's out. Name is Bryce, was it not? You fought a good fight. As did you, Ike, I commend you. Your style of fencing is unique. Who is your teacher? My father, Grail. I thought I recognized that style. You truly are Gawain's. I see it now. The resemblance is strong. Farewell, knight. I feel bad for him. Like, he was clearly a good man. Like, he was good. He gave me a speed wing. How nice of him. Appreciate that, man. I'm, I'm sorry. But yeah, the fourth and final rider of Dane has been defeated. Now, moving on to whatever unit you chose. Really, what I use these guys for, this is just me, is I usually look at both sides here and see who is struggling more and send them up that side, primarily to deal with the dragons. Now, right now, I would actually send him up this way because this dragon is already on his way to attacking units over here. He's not yet gone anywhere on this side, so I'm going to send him up this way. Chip damage. Oh no, that'll kill him. Cool. Watch it go away. Get a critical. Sure, why not? I'll try to get this guy not to be able to attack me for at least one more turn. Okay, that didn't move anything. Okay, we're good. We are in fact good. Actually, that Lacuz Lance might work here. Yes, it will. Awesome. She's the vulnerary right here. This doesn't seem to be that big an issue. That'll leave her with one missing HP, but that's not too bad. Had him in the corner. I'll wall this off. I don't think this guy can get here now. No, he can't. That's all good. All right. So we got to turn there. What's going on over here? First and foremost, we got to get these guys out. Should this is a good shot for Leith to 
knock this guy out. There we go. Believe it or not, for Endgame, surprisingly here, Leith will actually end up being one of your weaker units for Endgame. It's really weird, but she is still usable. She's not that far gone, thankfully. Alright, that guy's gone. Gradually move up. Get ready for combat against that dragon. I know I just healed, but I'm really tempted. I'm gonna go and do it. I can use Hammer Need to rebuild it anytime I need to. I'm gonna do it now. I believe that is a full level up on Mist. Like, it's 100 experience if you've not gotten her to level 20. So everybody's at full now. We're, we're about as prepared for this turn as we can be. Yeah, these guys are crazy accurate. I don't know what it is about this endgame part, but they seem to hit all over the place. I guess they just get a massive boost in their stats. Because, like, you don't see them miss near as much as they do in stages prior. Even a couple stages prior, they would just miss, like, left and right. But here they seem to hit probably about 70% of the time, maybe 75%. He didn't move as far as I thought he would. Yeah, I knew you were coming. Swordmaster gonna be a pain, but I'll deal with him later. Alright, this here's gonna transform. I'm still gonna wait for that dragon. Uh, for this guy, I'm gonna worry about the dragon first, because there's no getting away from him at this point. We've gotta fight him now. It's funny how no matter what Lagoos it is for the Beast Tribe, they always have the same animation, even the Lagoos Royal. Funny, I guess. I don't know why. It just is. A sword gonna do for damage. 14. That's not bad, but we still need to take two other people to get rid of this guy. So the Lagoos bow is probably our best bet here. Yes, it is. That'll be just enough to get rid of him. Alright, that's the main problem on this right hand side taken care of. We're pretty much golden now. Take a level, sure. Side. Silver Sword and Silver Axe. Actually, Sword should probably be healing for this level. Get you. Get you. Alright, we're good on this side now. I think we are anyway. Yeah, there's like one guy coming down here to fight us, but whenever they're one by one, it's not that big of a deal. Alright, that taken care of, middle's okay. Back to this side. Right, you. We have to get rid of this guy, otherwise this guy with the physics staff is just going to heal him immediately. Those sword masters are going to be a problem though. That's going to suck. Have to just retreat here. Can we get these guys? Can we get him relatively easily? That's the real question. 12 and 2, 6 and 2, 10 and 2. That has a better crit rate on it though, the forged weapon. If I could get one crit on that, that would take him down to 22 health. Does anybody else have a Lagoo's weapon? I don't think so. We do have a little bit of range here. I think we can do this. Come on, Rolf. Get him again. Get him again. Ah. Oh well. It's worth a try. We can still do this, though. Thankfully. Something for more damage than that. But every little bit helps. If we gotta finish him off with a direct attack, that's okay. Yes, that's what I was hoping for, right there. Let's get these. Lagoose Slayers? No, Silver Blades. Okay. 
They're going to be strong, but they're not going to do bonus damage against her. That's the important thing here. Go ahead and do it again. R. Ike Nasir. Yep. Alright. Really, those dragons are probably the worst of this stage, to be honest with you. You still have to be on your guard the entire time, but really, they're the worst of it. That one in the middle is not a problem, though. I can easily best him. Ta! <laughs> nice try, buddy. Adept doesn't work on Jill. Sure, I'll take it. If a little bit helps. I don't care about that halberd here in the slightest. I don't care about that swordmaster in the slightest. Need to get that healer out of here, though. Move forward a little bit. Not that he can attack with range, so it doesn't matter that much. We'll trade over this for a moment. And we're needing on this. That'll bring it back to three. We'll get it back next turn. This is a good turn to do it right now, because there's not really anything that can get in the way on this side. There we go. Using the bushes for cover, you could do that if you want. It's not really that big a difference. It's not going to help you that much. This is more so for just the actual look to the stage. But you can use them if you want. You really don't need them, though. See, our Brave Sword works here. Your Depth works here. Teach you to mess with me. Okay, I know this guy's still up here. Yeah, he is. Look at this dumbass. Yeah, Jill just got a level. Oscar can get a level off of that. Off of this guy. If he gets a critical. Ah, he didn't. He's, yeah, I was going to say, he's still actually probably got the level, though. I'll take those stats. Speed and defense are always good. I'm just out of range of that. Jill, if you'd be so kind. Thank you. Go for that magic user next turn. Right now, I'm not going to deal with his butt, though. Oh, right, we used the chair staff. What am I talking about? Don't need to do that. He had one more HP than Nephany. That's kind of funny. Oh, well. Maybe now she'll get one point in HP. Bring her up to 44. Nope, that's alright, though. Take defense and resistance. Always good to have. Alright, now, at this point, you've probably killed all the enemies on the sides that were actually, you know, actively running at you. Really, at this point, what I would start doing, watching out for the ranged crap, of course, is try to get the to onto the top of the staircase, so these spaces right here, or these spaces right here, and just try to get four units to line up on them. Just, you know, get them as close as you can, make sure they're units that are actually supposed to be on the front line, of course. Don't send somebody up there like Soren. So be careful about who you send up there, but kind of form like a little miniature barricade so nobody can get behind you once again. At this point, hopefully by the end of turn six, you're, the dragon that you're fighting with Ike is probably gone. I'm going to go ahead and attack him now. I don't think these guys have any skills, do they? No, they don't. Alright, yeah, we'll go after him now then. I mean, Ike has no problem taking out a dragon. Granted, that was with Aether and a critical, but even without, he still had a huge advantage. Alright, so that's all the dragons gone. Now we're pretty much just left with the top half of the stage. We just gotta get everybody up there. Okay, the enemy did nothing. That's always good. Now, first and foremost, these guys up here, with the exception of this bishop, I don't remember about him, actually. He might... He'll probably try to use that stupid sleep staff. But these four... Uh, paladins right here will probably come after Ike if you put him here. Whether he's got Provoke or not, they will probably go after him. If they do, that's fine. He can easily get rid of them with no difficulty whatsoever. So, don't 
be afraid to actually go at them and just run straight at them. You can actually do it without very much difficulty. Take this back, thank you. Don't need it right now. He's actually going to get a spell off no matter what I do. That kind of sucks. Oh well. There's nothing I can do about it, really. Oh right, I need to turn those combat animations off for these three. Well, I haven't shown the Seers, I don't think, but it's not that big a deal. I've already seen an, an attack from a dragon, so... Okay, we don't need to rescue. We're okay. Yeah, there he comes. I figured he would do that. And, of course, I didn't dodge it. Fantastic. And that will sometimes happen. If it does, most of the time, which there might be an exception here, we'll find out in a moment, but most of the time, Ike is going to be taking either no damage at all or very minuscule damage from these guys. As you can see, he's taking none at all thus far. So it's not too big of a deal. But if it becomes a big deal... Just heal him as needed if you don't have the Restore, or the Ashera Staff, or anything like that. If not, Nasir can be your backup, and you can kind of use him as a shield. So you can see right here, it's not that big an issue, because they're just not doing any damage at all. Yeah, those Halberdiers may or may not go after him. They might go across the other side. Uh, it just kind of depends on where your position is relative to everybody else. Now, thankfully, the Ashera Staff gets rid of status conditions. So, after I move everybody on this side, I will probably use it, or on the two sides, I will probably use it to get Ike's sleep status off of him. But in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of these guys. Particularly that guy who's got Meteor, because I don't want him around. He actually didn't fire at me, but I don't care. I don't want him around. Right. Keep in mind, the guys up here that have ranged... Why in the world do you have an Iron Axe? What are you doing? Weirdo. I don't think it's on this side. It might be on the other side, actually. Maybe not. Is it some of these guys? Yeah. These guys right here, the ones that have bows... If you're standing right here, and they're right here, they actually can fire at you. And the guys up there will move. The only person that does not move, unless you're on hard mode, is Ashnard. He won't move, but everybody else there will. So keep that in mind. Right, I said I moved her last. Leith, I can actually move up and use the Lagoo Stone, because this is the last stage, so might as well use it. If there's any time to do it, it would be now. You could give the Lagoo Stone to Nasir as well, even though... It's kind of your call. If you've got multiples of them left, you can give one to each, etc. But that's not telling you anything you don't already know. No, don't do that. Have some rune swords. Nice! It's always fun to mess around with those ranged magic swords like that. Generally speaking, they're usually pretty useless, but thankfully the rune sword, even by itself, is relatively strong, so... If you've got good accuracy to boot, it can still do a decent amount of damage. If I recall... Four. This may not be what I'm thinking of, but we're gonna try. No, it doesn't. Okay. I used... There was at some point I thought for shoving a unit you could actually decrease their uh, counter for that. Like how long they'd be asleep for. But I guess it's not the case. Maybe that's in Radiant Dawn. I don't know. That could also be entirely in my head and it probably is. Either way, that condition is now gone. Doesn't really matter who we go after here because Ike's sword is ranged. So I guess we'll take out the guy that can actually damage him. See, 
later. Let's see it never. And we'll just wait. And of course, if that condition gets put back on, we can always just remove it again. <laughs>